Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a beachy sunset cut crease look that I came up with, primarily inspired by this cold, nasty, crappy weather that I am supremely over. I wanted to do something that was fun and bright and reminded me of summer and just overall brought my mood up. And I also had a few products that I wanted to try out and kind of was just messing around, so. You'll note that my hair is still gray in this video, so you can tell that I filmed it a bit of time ago. Um, it's been a busy time, but I felt like in light of all of this cold that this was a very timely video to post this week, so I hope you enjoy it. I know what you're thinking, and yes, this foundation is a bit dark for me this time of year. Uh, I have no tan whatsoever, but again, I wanted to go for something warm and beachy, so this is one of my favorite go-tos uh, as more of a, a warm foundation, so that's why I use it today. I've only used this concealer a couple of times, so I'm still experimenting with it, but I do really like its finish and it's quite bright. To go with the overall warm theme, I'm using the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, which is a extremely warm face palette. Uh, it's a bit dark as well, it's very highly pigmented, so you're going to notice that I have to blend this one up quite a lot in order to make this not look like a train wreck. blush today I am using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. You guys have heard me talk about this stuff before and I'm still absolutely in love. The shade that I'm using today is called Corky and when I looked at the links I couldn't find this exact shade so I don't know if it's been discontinued but they do offer quite a few shades. You guys know I love my glow and the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit is one I picked up around Black Friday because they had it on sale. But it's one that I haven't had the chance to really use a whole lot. So, you know, when I'm just messing around, you know I'm gonna dive into those kinds of things. And I hope you'll forgive me now, but I have been vegging out on brows, so I'm now going to spend 25 minutes doing my brows. Um, trust me, I cut that down some for you, uh, and I sped it up, 
but I left it in because, you know, they did turn out leaky. products that really inspired this look was the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. This one is so bright and well pigmented and it just has so many warm and happy colors in it.
other product I really wanted to show off and also the inspiration for doing a cut crease is the Inglet Dura line. This stuff is absolutely crazy. It's a mixing liquid, so you can effectively turn any eyeshadow, powder, whatever, into a semi-waterproof eyeliner, and it actually stays really, really super well. The other thing this product is excellent for, and actually why I bought it in the first place, is for rehydrating uh, some of your cream products. So for instance, your brow pomades, liquid tub eyeliners, cream shadows, things like that, that have a tendency to get dried out over time. You can use a couple of drops of this and really renew those products. So it saves a lot of money in the end too. And here is the completed look on my beach sunset inspired cut crease. I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did and I hope it warmed you up. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.